We've been here at Margaritaville in Auburndale, Florida for a few weeks now shooting RV Unplugged, which we can't give you details on that. You're going to have to wait for that to be launched. Don't you want to know? But we really love it here. This is a really nice campground and it has a little something for everyone. Yeah, this is definitely a resort. The sites are nice, the pool, the tiki bar, everything about it. The pickleball court, which we didn't get to play on, but it's nice to know that it was there. And a lot of kid option too. So if you're, you're traveling with kiddos, there's a lot for them to do here. But unfortunately, it is time to say goodbye and head on down the road. Where are we going, you might ask? Where you're going to want to watch and find out because we are about to do something to our RV that's going to save Phil so much time. <laughs> it's going to keep it clean and it's going to protect it for really as long as the life of the RV. I think you gave too much away there. They might figure that uh -oh. out. Uh-oh. They might. Yeah. We'll keep watching because we're going to show that's you. Right. I've been excited to, to do this for a long time. We spent last night at the Tallahassee Automobile Museum. It is one of the harvest hosts that we hit up as we're coming in and out of Florida. It is so convenient because it is right off the freeway, which is here, and there's the main road here. And even though we are right next to both of these roads, even with the windows open, it wasn't too bad as far as car noise. This museum is definitely a popular harvest host. Let us know in the comments if you've overnighted here on your way in or out of Florida. All right, we are packing it up and we're getting ready to head out so we can take care of the outside of this RV. I'm here. We're here. <laughs> we are here at Master Applied Coating to get Ruby ceramic coated. We've been wanting to get Ruby ceramic coated forever, or should I say Phil, because he's the one that spends three to four days cleaning, detailing, and getting Ruby looking just like new. But of course, after that, he's practically in traction. And if we pay someone to detail the RV, it costs between three and 400 bucks. So this is gonna save us time, money, and keep Phil out of traction. It's very common to see where all these seams start bending. Yeah. You see it cracking right there. You know, you... And I flew my drone into it right there. You can see where the, blade, you can see where the blades got it, right? Yeah. yeah. Early on, I was trying to, trying to do something I obviously shouldn't have been doing. The first part of the process is a really good cleaning. So Ruby is about to get a bath. So you just put this on and then let it soak and then yeah, rinse it? Yeah, this industrial and grade heat greaser. You know, after the ceramic, you won't need something like this. It's always nice to get tips from the pro. So he's using a concentrated degreaser to get off all of our bugs. And we have to buy the big jugs. Yeah. They're like Keep concentrate, yeah. but we don't concentrate it. We just put it straight in here. But what I used for Tiffin was baby shampoo and white vinegar. And baby shampoo is gentle on everything, including the bugs. Master Applied Coating started in 2011 as Vinnie's North Bay Airstream Repair. They opened this location two years ago in Tallahassee, Florida. We were so thrilled when they reached out to us, and we definitely appreciate the discounted price we got on our ceramic coating. So we're on phase two. Phase two. They got it all clean and sparkly, and now they're starting to buff it. Yeah, when we walked in the door, I was like, wow, she looks better already. It's clean and better lighting. If we were outside, even after they cleaned it, we wouldn't be able to see what we've seen in here with the bright lights right on it. I didn't notice how many of them there were before. And then yeah, you got the bright light on them, it's like good yeah. gravy. 
we got to stay away from trees. The ceramic coating too will help if the edges of, of tree branches. Yeah, it'll help mitigate it a lot. So, you know, it's not going to be quite as deep because it'll be a harder surface. But if it goes into it hard enough, it can still scratch yeah, it. Yeah. But, you know, where how bad these are, you know, if they had the ceramic on it, you know, you probably would still have scratches like that, but they wouldn't be as bad. So I just have to have Stacy hanging out the front window with a saw as we go through and just cut them off. Yeah. <laughs> the first step in polishing is using the heavy cut compound. So on the first pass, I can tell most of the swirl marks are gone. I can still see some finer scratches, and I know they're not done. Just feeling it, it it's much smoother. It's almost, it's almost a glass-like feel. So, and that was just one pass. We're trying to get the scratches out, but we're trying to level out the whole. Yeah, surface. like is it, with how it feels up here, you can tell that it's, it's very unlevel. Yeah, we're, now we're making a lot more level. Up. Since this isn't the cutting compound or cutting pad, I don't have to go as, as slow. I just kind of feel pretty easy all over. Gotcha. And you're not putting a lot of pressure behind that, are you? Not on this pad, no. Yeah. Pro tip, these seams, if you press them against your paint job, they will scratch. Use a soft microfiber rag like this first. Remove the tag. Then what you want to do is kind of marry your corners up, get the seams together on one side. Then you take the seam side, put it in your hand. Now you have this clean surface here and this edge to clean and wipe, and this will alleviate those swirl marks. The only negative with this whole process is saying goodbye to our United States stickers here. It has all the places we've been so far. I'm really sad to see it go because we can't find this exact one anymore online. So I'm not sure what we're going to get to replace it. The guys made it look really easy removing those stickers. But what I always had problems with was taking the adhesive off. Anytime I had to remove a sticker or even the non-skid strip that was on our stairs when I took that off and put the marine decking on. It took me forever to get that adhesive off. This right here would have helped me rapid remover. I sprayed it on, let it sit for a few seconds, and then wiped it off. It worked really fast. And with any of these solvents or cleaners, always read the instructions before you use them. On to step three. So they washed it, polished it, and now they sanitized it using 70% IPA to get any residual grease buster, polish, anything that's left on it, even oils from the hands touching it. This removes all of that so that they can get ready for the last and final step, which will be applying the ceramic coating. If there's any other chemicals on there, like some of that wrap remover we were spraying earlier or degreaser, then, then this will get it off oh, and also so... neutralize it. Once you have your rig ceramic coated, we like to keep it all indoors for at least 6 to 12 hours so we can kind of monitor how it's curing. You know, and then after that time frame, it's about 85-90% cured. It's good to go on the road, it's good to get dirty, that's all fine, but for the last 10-15%, it'll take about 4-7 to seven days before we cure. It's time for another pro tip. Believe it or not, some of your swirl marks are being caused by the tools that you're using to prevent swirl marks. These microfiber mops are great to be used on your car or your RV, but make sure you clean them very well. Sand and dirt can get trapped in this mop, and that's what's causing your swirls. So what they recommend doing is getting two buckets, and as you're cleaning your RV, make sure you soak and rinse your mops along the way. The difference between our ceramic coating and a cheap ceramic coating is in the chemistry of it. It's how it bonds to it. So if you go get a spray on ceramic coating, it goes on the surface and it bonds to itself, but it just kind of sits over the top. So if you get a scratch or something like that, it can actually start to peel off. That's why they want you to come back every year or every two years to get another layer over because you got to fill in those gaps or it's going to start peeling. And the difference is ours is it bonds to itself, but it also bonds to every polymer in the clear coat, the fiberglass, the gel coats. So that way, if you get a scratch, it's not going to start peeling off because the Coating's actually bonded to it. You can feel this. It just feels like glass. I mean, it is smooth. I know there's a, a lot of other imperfections in here that they can't get to because then they would get too far into the paint. But just the surface, they cleaned off a top layer of grime and 
She's looking better than she ever has. So Phil's causing more work for the guys. He keeps putting his nasty hands all over the fresh clean RV. So now they have to clean it again. They're not nasty. Feel that. Look at how smooth they are. <laughs> now we're getting ready to apply the ceramic coating to Ruby. So I'm going to hand this to Brisson. But let me show you what the magic is inside this box. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on there. That stops you. Sorry. No. So that is where all the magic happens. So I can't show you what's in the box, but we're about to show you what it's going to do. Our ceramic is all U.S. based. So all of the ingredients, everything are sourced in the U.S. You know, we're not coming from another country, so we're able to modify the formula and create something that's still permanent to your surface. It smells like nail polish. So we put it on really thick like this, and then we have to we'll level it, and so it'll take some of it off, but like we'll wait for it to first cure and create a bond. <laughs> We're whispering, it's, it's, it's delicate secret. work, it's, it's top dark. secret. That's so funny. You just make two passes to make sure you get out every surface. So it immediately starts bonding when you put it on there. So this is essentially wiping off the excess. Yeah, because it creates a certain chemical structure. And if you have too much past that chemical structure, then it just, it's bonding to the top molecules of it. But it will start to crystallize and it will turn white because it's not fully in it. It's only been on for a couple of minutes. The most of the swirl marks have disappeared, and so have some of the deeper cracks, but it's still drying right now. So this is, it's in the, the hardening stage, and I've got my hands in my pockets because I want to touch it uh, because it's that smooth, but I can tell you the transition, <laughs> my hands coming out, the transition from Don't here touch it. to here is already night and day. I know you probably can't see it on video, but this is much brighter and shinier. So we can, we can do pretty much any RV. You know, any gel coat, fiberglass, clear coat like Airstreams, you know, fifth wheel, super C's, class A's, all of that stuff. All right, that's just the beginning. That is what they're going to do to the entire RV. But once it's done and we get it out in the natural light, then the colors are going to pop. Then she's just going to be super shiny. I am super excited mm -hmm. to see her back out in the sun. All right, so we are going to close it for today, and tomorrow you're going to see the finished product. We are here. It is all complete. We get to go check Ruby out and see her shining in the light. She's going to look brand spanking new. Wow. Man, she's shining even from the distance, babe. I really wish you guys were here so you could see what we're seeing. It's really hard to get it to show up on camera, but I gotta tell you, she is shining like new. She is, and I'm not touching her <laughs> because there's still a little curing going on, but all the stickers are gone. I mean, they cleaned I it up really look. well. Look, you can't even tell that we, we had them on there. <laughs> we had plastered with stickers. It looks so much better. We're not putting more on there. Yeah, no I, more. I've decided I don't like them anymore. The only one we're gonna put on is our US map once we find it. Swirl marks pretty much are gone. The deep tree branch scrapes, couldn't quite get all of those out, but they did fill them in. They're not as pronounced now. Um, and she is, keep in mind, Ruby is a nine-year, almost a nine-year-old rig. I can't wait to see it in the sunlight with the sun just beaming down on it. She's gonna shine constantly, which is a plus. Now when people ask, how do we keep her so shiny and clean? This right here, ceramic coating. After it's fully cured, the maintenance is going to be very simple. It's going to be just a mild car wash soap, but nothing that has like a wax in it or something that says extra layer because the wax doesn't stick to the ceramic. So if you wax it afterwards, you're going to see spots of wax that are bonded to themselves, just kind of covering the trailer. It's not going to look very good. It's not going to hurt the coating, but you're just going to have to wash it again. With We always recommend touchless washing, so with a light pressure washer if you want to get them off. And in terms of drying, you know, leaf blower, blow off most water, it's great. Otherwise, use a microfiber drying towel.
It's been raining for the last two days. So this is our first sunny day since we brought Ruby out of the shop. And I gotta tell you, she's still shining. We have sand on the very bottom that we drove through on the way here. So it was wet and stuck to the side. That'll rinse off. This looks like it's been covered for the last two days. There is literally not a water spot on here. And I am super impressed with this. So the only negative that I see just standing here looking is the fact that it's so shiny and clean. Any flaws that we have, like right here, you can definitely see the chips in the side. And there's nothing they can do about that. Once the paint is gone and chipped off, it's gone. They weren't doing touch-up paint when they put the ceramic coat on. So to me, that's the only negative. It's so glaringly obvious to me now, and I never saw it before. The best time to get your rig ceramic coated is when she's brand new. That not way, when she's eight years old. Yeah, they got all the swirl marks out. There's not one swirl mark in here, so that was good. Which, by the way, we created most of those swirl marks. Phil thought he was doing the right thing. He'd come to find out those wonderful rags he was using, <laughs> the seams. Yeah, who knew that using microfiber rags that are soft and smooth <laughs> as a baby's butt would do that to your paint job. The bugs are going to stick, but they're not going to stick as hard because they're not going to be able to penetrate into your finish or your paint. They're going to hit that ceramic coating. I'm going to be able to come by with a water hose and boom, they'll fall right off. It's so shiny. I can see myself. I know. I know. Everybody wants to know how much it costs. A lot of things come into play. Size of the rig, the age of your rig, how much work will need to be done to your rig. If it's, you know, a 12 year old rig, it's going to need some good prep work. So a rig this size, 35 feet, was just a little over $6,000. We recommend that you call Master Applied Coatings to get an accurate quote for your rig. For us, this is definitely an investment. Phil pays people to watch the RV now that, you know, he's in traction all the time when he does it. So we're doing that about three to four times a year. And at three to $400 a pop, that does add up fast. And that's just to wash it. If I were to throw in waxing and polishing the, the, the wheels, I mean, that adds on the price. So you could see where the investment now is going to pay off. So let us know your thoughts. Are you considering having your RV ceramic coated? And how are you washing your RV? We would love some more washing tips down below for people who are trying to main paint, main paint. It is a pain. <laughs> for people who are trying to maintain their RV 